Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben and Lad, and today I'm going to be doing day 17 of my advent calendar. Today is who's this? Wild Horse Brewing Co. and Rivington, and this one is called Peddling Squares, and it is a Baltic Porter at 6.5 percent. It says that all on the front, and then there's the percentage. Um, don't think I've had a Wild Horse before, so this is a new beer for me and the channel. Um, I'm actually quite looking forward to it if Rivington's involved. I don't really think I've had a bad Rivington, or if I have, it was a long time ago and I don't really remember it. But I quite like Rivington, I think they're quite good. Um, so I'm looking forward to this beer. A bit of guff on the back, it says a Baltic Porter brewed with our mates at Rivington Brewing Co. Um, brewed with a blend of roasted and crystal malts, fermented with lager yeast, uh, and held at low temperatures for extended conditioning. Just says that right there. Uh, cannot, fairly straightforward. It looks like a bunch of wheels, some square ones, some rest of them round. Looks quite funky. Um, yeah, not much else to it, so let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? Right, there's the beer, got a nice jet black beer. There's a nice bit of ruby red coming through the bottom there, as you can see, looks quite nice. Uh, lovely, compact, tanned head. Like I say, looks quite nice. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Oh, roasted malt right off the bat. Milk chocolate, uh, there's a hint of dark, but there's a lot more milk chocolate in it. It's this nice sweetness. Um, Nice milky sweetness. A little bit of vanilla in there as well. It smells really, really nice. It smells sweet. It smells milky. Um, yeah. Let's get mouthful for body and carb. Carbs, light, medium. Um, it's very prickly, very... It's not subtle. It's quite prickly. Body, I'd say, is more light. Light medium somewhere, but yeah, that carb's a bit sharp um, for a porter, at least. Let's get, let's uh, top it up and then we'll go for a big old taste. Cheers. Let me try that again. Very mild. Um, it's not really the strongest for flavor. Yeah, not really the strongest for flavour. It's got a bit of roasted malt to it, and that milk chocolate again. Um, but aside from that, there's not really much else to this one. It's got hops in it. It's got like a hoppy taste. <coughs> <coughs> Strange. Lager yeast. I don't think I've ever had a, a lager, a lager yeast porter. Um, it's got this, not hops, but it's got this hoppy taste to it that you would get in a lager. It's malty. Um, <coughs> pardon me. There it is. Um, it's malty, mildly, um, and you've got this bit of. I don't know what to call it because it's not hops. But it tastes like hops. It tastes like lager hops. Um, so you got you, usually in your lager, you've got your malts, you've got your wheaty barley taste, and then you've got this hoppy, lighter flavour. Uh, that's where I'm coming from with this. You've got this lighter, hoppier styled flavour. Um, it's weird. Um, 
It's dark and slightly bitter. There's a nice little sweetness contrast to it with the milk chocolate. And then, yeah, you're just left with this lagery ish taste. Which I'm not really sure what to think of. It's like I say, I don't really go mixing lagers and porters together to make a drink. It's not really what I do. Um, I don't really know what to think of this. I quite enjoy beers that tend to push boundaries. I quite enjoy it, and I think nine times out of ten, it's like hats off to them. They did well um, and tastes quite nice. This one, I'm not really sure where it fits. It's not bad enough that it's going to go down my sink, but I don't think I'm giving it a ten anytime soon. Um, it's very, I don't know, underwhelming, I guess, for this one. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, which is a shame because it's Rivington as well um, and Rivington tend to do some good stuff especially stouts and porters they tend to make them really strong really well I don't know not sure with this one um, I don't know it's, it's, it's an interesting one I think it's got a um, select taste to it I don't think I really fit that select taste so um, I think with that I'm going to go away and finish it because I've almost finished it I've got a third left I may as well um, but I'm not really sure what I think of this one properly so um, Wild Horse and Rivington's uh, Pedal and Squares a Baltic Porter at 6.5 out of 10 I'm going to give it another mouthful and then let you know I don't want to, but I'm going to give it the percentage and give it a six and a half. I feel like six is too low, but seven is too generous, so it's going to get a six and a half. It's, uh, I've got, I think it's it's a, a select taste. Um, it's just not for me, unfortunately. But hey, y'all, if you want to try this, if you've had this, actually, let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Wild Horse if I can find one. Um, I'll leave a link to Rivington as well. And if you want to try it, try it and let me know what you think, because it's a strange one. But, like I say, select taste. You might like it. You might. This might be your next favourite beer. Pardon me. It might not. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, link's down below. If you like the video, though, pardon me. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.